What's up everyone? In this video, we are going to be discussing the pull rates for the new Twilight Masquerade set that just recently released. Are the pull rates any better than Temporal Forces? Are they worse or are they just about the same? We will discuss this along with some prices. Yeah, some early on prices for the singles. But first, I am doing a giveaway. If you do not if you have not seen my recent videos, I am doing I'm giving away a booster box of Twilight Masquerade. It's this video right here, booster box giveaway. All right. This is for 5k subscribers. Once we hit 4k, I gave away a 151 UPC. So now for 5k, I'm giving away a Twilight Masquerade booster box. In order for this to happen, we need to hit 5k. So in, and and how you enter is subscribe to the channel so we can get to 5k um, and that's how you can enter like that video that specific video of the booster box giveaway video and comment on that video what your favorite card is from the twilight masquerade set and that's it you're entered once we hit 5k then we'll do the giveaway um i'll announce the winner like we just hit 4.6k subscribers 4,600 subscribers so thank you all so much to so just 400 left until 5k so let's get there all right now Let's talk about the poll rates for Twilight Masquerade. This is from TCGplayer.com, of course. Um, so data from over 8,000 packs, as usual. And here we go. All right. So I guess we'll start with the hyper rares because they're first on here. Any hyper rare, 1 in 146 packs. A specific hyper rare, 1 in 879. So if you're trying to get that uh, that gold hyper rare buddy buddy poffin, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, trying to pull it from a <laughs> from a pack or uh, any of the other gold cards. I mean, yeah, 1 in 879 for a specific one, but 1 in 446 for any one of them. Which means that even if you get a booster box, you probably like might not get any hyper rares. Same thing with the il special illustration rares, but even worse. 1 in 86 for packs for any special illustration rare. So yeah, booster box might not get you it. Two booster boxes might not get you it. That's crazy. For uh one for any special illustration rare, for a specific one, 1 in 941. Okay, we're gonna compare this to temporal forces. Don't worry, I have the tab open, but uh, I'll, I'll go. I'll go there once I get through this. So yeah, you want that Greninja or you want that uh, Carmine special assertion? Yeah, one at nine hundred forty-one. Good luck. Um, hope you have a bunch of money to blow for that. But yeah, unless you want to just buy the single. But yeah. Any illustration rare, one in 13 packs. Okay, you should be getting some in uh, booster boxes. A specific one, though, is one in 272. Okay, so you want that uh, that amazing Eevee. You know, you want that Eevee, the cute Eevee card, right? The one that everybody should be getting, right? Right? One in 272 packs. You want that that uh, nice-looking Tatsugili to play in your deck? Yeah, yeah, one in 272 packs. Good luck with that. Next, ultra rare, one in 15 packs for any of them. Specific ultra rare, one in 318 what <laughs> okay ace spec cards all right you need you want the unfa unfair stamps you want the scoop up cyclones for you know dragapult or whatever you want uh, legacy energy for lugia all right any ace spec one in 20 so you should get one to two per booster box but if you want a specific one it's one in, in 119 and then a secret and then a secret rare or any ace spec hit rate is uh oh, sorry a chance of opening at least one hyper rare special illustration rare illustration rare ultra rare or a spec is 20 percent okay that's Twilight Masquerade. Let's compare it to Temporal Forces. All right, so Hyper Rare. 1 in 139 for any, 1 in 836 for, for specific. So it's it's very close, very close, but it's worse with uh, Twilight Masquerade. Um, whether this is a significant difference, you know, the p-values and whatever, I don't know. All I know is that it's a little bit worse with Twilight Masquerade just looking at the numbers. Um, and then we have special illustration rares, 1 in 86, and then 1 in 855 for a specific one. So same for any special illustration rare, but if you want a specific one, it's 1 in 941. So it got worse. It got worse from this set, of course, from this set of 8,000 packs um, or over 8,000 packs. So this is just from uh, TCG player, but I'm still comparing 8,000 packs to 8,000 packs or, you know, close numbers. So it's worse with Twilight Masquerade. Illustration rares, okay, okay. Uh, one in thirteen, one in two hundred eighty-five, and then so it's, a, it's very, very similar. I wouldn't call that much of a significant difference. Um, next, ultra rares, we can go right here. One in two, one in fifteen, one in two seventy. Again, if you want the specific one, it's just worse. <laughs> With Twilight Masquerade, for any of them, it's the same. Ace specs, last thing, one in twenty and one in one hundred forty. So 
the, the the ace specs for a specific ace spec in twilight masquerade is a little a little bit better so all in all similar it's it twilight masquerade compared to temporal forces pull rates in conclusion it's they're similar slash worse <laughs> similar with a with a side of worse similar with a, with a huge amount of worse on it <laughs> like that sucks <laughs> So, what do we do? You keep opening packs, or you just at some point you just buy the singles? I mean, you already know the answer. Um, the answer is, okay, you, if you like to open packs, you take advantage of all the deals I post, or some of the deals I post, or whatever you want, um, or you keep stuff sealed. But anyways, we're talking about opening packs. You take advantage of deals. So you, one, you never pay MSRP, or over MSRP, of course, unless it's a very, very specific um, product. Two, you're paying way under MSRP, so that's great. So you're already getting deals. And then three, you want to have some fun opening packs. That's fine, but you do not overdo it. You do not just keep buying packs and packs or boxes and boxes just to open packs for the sake of opening packs and, and to try to find a specific card. It's not worth your money or your time, but your money, <laughs> it, it, no. And we'll talk. We'll look at the prices too. So at some point, you just buy the singles and let me show you the prices, okay, we're going from high to low, of course. And, of course, there are already a little bit of some buyouts happening. Um, kind of, kind of. So, Greninja EX, Special Illustration Rare. Of course, the majestic big boy right here. Um, yeah, kind of a buyout. I want, I, want, I want to call it small buyout just because it's low supply, high demand. But still, you know, the supply increased as the the set officially released from pre-release to official release. But it, it, it got, it's getting bought up. Like, this, this thing went down to, like, 110, 111. Okay. Now, it's 140, <laughs> 150. Like, what? Yes, it's very limited supply, but still, people. some people bought them, bought the cheaper ones out. Yes, like, okay, someone got them for 79, 99, 69. I don't know how that happened, but yeah. Low 120s, okay, 116, 116, okay, 112, 115. You see, you see, okay. Then 105, so it was low, and I was just up. Um... So hopefully this comes back down uh, at some point. Uh, but yeah, again, you're, are you going to try to open up um, a, 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 like a dumb amount of packs for a 1 in 941 chance at getting this specific special illustration rare? I wouldn't do it. At that point, just buy the single itself. But not, I mean, make best offers on eBay and then just see if the price goes down a little bit later on. Um, Carmine. Okay, Carmine. Similar kind of story. Um, similar kind of story with the bounce up. It went down to like 75-ish. And then we can go here. Um, 80s. Okay, keep going. 70s. Still 80s. And then, okay, this is like way, way, way back. So 70s and then 80s. Someone bought it in 60s. 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 Okay, okay. And then now it's gone. It's like 100 plus. Okay, so similar to Greninja. It's a special illustration. Or again, that pull rate is bad. Just wait until you know the price cools off a little bit when more supply and all that kind of stuff. And of course, Shrouded Fable got announced, so you know the hype train always continues. Just buy the single at some point. Perrin, Perrin. Okay, this one for sure has also a buyout because it was fifties and now it's a hundred plus. <laughs> it's over a hundred dollars. There's only there, now there are only ten listings. There were a lot. There were more. I saw them. I was. I've been watching them for the past few days. Um, view more data. Look at that. 60s, 50s, 60s, 50s, 70. Okay. 50s, low 50s, 40. Okay. You see what I mean? Double the price now, or over double the price because people bought them out because they know it's, they're like, oh, it's low supply. You know, the price is kind of lower because the set just came out, but there's lower supply relatively. Let's, let's just, let's just make the card skyrocket and price. Just buy them out now and then just resell them like in, in like two days once the price doubles. <laughs> So that's what's happening with Perrin. Um, okay, let's just let's just get to other stuff. So, okay, if you want illustration rare EV, it's gonna be forties and only fifteen listing, fifteen listings. Okay, so of course everyone should be getting this card at some point, not right now. Remember what happened with Ghastly when it got when it was like like lower in price and then it just shot up and then it went back down. Okay, so this is forties right now. Um, there are barely any listings, and then you have the. Uh, hyper rare buddy buddy poffin also in the 40s all right also in the 40s this has been you know it's been holding steady in the 40s i've been watching it okay so remember 
Remember, for illustration rares, if you want this EV or going after this EV, one in 272 chance. Why not just buy the single? Even if you bought it right now, which I wouldn't buy it right now because it's just it's it's just wait until it goes down. But even if you bought it now, you're still winning later on. If if you're gonna if you were about to buy a bunch of packs, you would still just win just because you're getting the single card right now instead of paying a dumb amount for packs and then maybe not getting anything at all of value. Um, and then hyper rare, one in 179 packs. Are you trying to get the buddy buddy poffin by opening packs? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Like that's it. That's the point. You can just buy a play set of gold ones right now, even though I don't like this price, but right now and still come out on top. Um, okay. Next, we'll talk about, let's see. Okay. Keelan's been holding steady at this price. Um, I'm just going to wait a little bit because I, I, I want the card for the Charizard deck because I have the the regular, you know, the regular version, but I want the, I want the, the, the cool looking one. Anyways, Dragapult, um, Ultra Rare has been sitting, uh, calmly at this price okay let's go to so you want the teal mag teal mask ogre upon ex you want the the hyper rare one again again one in 879 please just buy the single it's under 20 dollars only six okay hold on six listings okay i mean there's collective ccg has it with their, their reputable seller they have it for 18.99 like i don't know what they're doing are they trying to buy it out just like the other ones i mean look at this they're literally, they're literally that's, that's what they're trying to do literally trying to do that um i believe it's because it's used in the raging bolt ex which Raging Bolt Special Illustration Rare got bought out recently again um, because of that. So is this what they're trying to do with this card too? Okay, we'll see if it's successful. This card, this set just came out. So we'll see what happens when more packs uh, are opened. Um, okay, let's go to um, here, page two. Tatsugiri. You want to you wanna try to buy a bunch of packs just to open Tatsugiri? Just get it for 12 something or 13. It's right there. Rescue board, same thing, but for uh, worst pull rates like Buddy Buddy Poffin, it's thirteen dollars. Uh, Dragapult EX is sitting pretty at twelve or thirteen. This was a thirty something dollar card when it came out. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Um, and then, oh, okay, unfair stamp. Are you going to try to open up a bunch of packs for a hundred one in one hundred nineteen chance of getting an unfair stamp specifically when you can just buy the card itself for like eleven dollars or ten dollars something? Please just buy the single. Please just buy the single. And uh, remember also for the oh uh, the infernape is sick. Please get the infernape. Um, remember also the other a specs I talked about legacy energy for Lugia. It's under five dollars with so many listings. Just buy the single. And then we have, where is it? Where's Scoop Up Cycle? Wait, it's $2 something. Just buy the single. You are not about to, so $3. You are not about to open up um, hundreds of packs just, or 100 packs just to get a this specific one. Just just buy the Scoop Up Cycle right now. Just do it. That's it. We're done. Like there's, this is a great price already. <laughs> That's it. Same thing with Legacy Energy and Unfair Stamp. Don't, don't, go after those. Go after those singles. Um, yeah. So, and then, you know, other cards are the other cards. Blood Moon or Saluna, two dollars, but yeah, three dollars. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that that's the, those are the prices right now for uh for for Twilight Masquerade. I mean, of course, the price the price is going to fluctuate. More packs going to be open. Hopefully, stuff drops. Um, but you know, some buyouts are happening. Stash will be happening, but we'll see what ha what shakes out. Just like Temporal Forces, which is right here. Okay, as I mentioned, Raging Bolt EX got bowed out again. You see this BS. Woo! Just because you know the deck's actually good, um, and Raging Bolt EX is actually good because I mean that's what the deck is based on. So that with the Teal Max Ogre Pond EX, um, yeah, so a hundred something dollars now instead of in the fifties. <laughs> Remember, I talked about this like in a previous, in recently in a previous video about the prices crashing back down. Well, because Raging Bolt EX is doing well or it's getting hyped up, the, the actual deck, well, now this one shot up, so it is what it is. You can just play the other versions of it. Like, the, you can buy the other versions of it if you want to play it instead of buying the special illustration rare, if, if you want. Um, but then the other prices are really, really calm. Like, they calmed all the way down. Like, Ghastly is $20 again. Okay? <laughs> Market price, 20 You See, like it went up to, like, 35 or 40 at some point. So... We'll see what happens with the Eevee um, for Twilight Masquerade. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to that. So again, if you already took advantage of deals for Twilight Masquerade, you're, you're getting your boxes, you're opening the packs, you know, you had your, you, 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 you scratched your itch to open packs, you didn't get what you want, or you got some of what you wanted, trade what you can, 
And then the rest of the stuff, I've shown you what to do with this stuff. I've told you what I do with it. Sell it on Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp. You will get a good amount of money. Take that stuff and then put it with some other bulk you have. Just mix it up. Make it over like 500 or more cards or whatever. Put it up for 40 or 30, whatever you want. Put some put some random EXs in there, full arts, this and that. Put whatever number you want and someone will buy them. Okay, someone will buy them. And you just made your money, some money back. All right, it just helps a lot. Now, if you got really lucky with the boot, with the with the pulls, okay, you got really lucky. You could, like, that, that's good, good stuff. But you know, if you scratched your itch again, or if you already scratched your itch and to open packs and you know you didn't get what you wanted and whatever, just you know sell the bulk or sell whatever whatever you want, and then use that money and buy the singles. Unless of course you want more packs, but again, do not go after. Don't just open packs just to open packs and try to pull pull them. Like, you know what I mean? Just just get the singles at that point. All right? So, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe so we can get 5K. And we can do that giveaway for the Twilight Masquerade Booster Box. So, enter that giveaway. And, again, let me know in the comments what you think. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.